Who's the second best quarterback in this class, Mike? Greeny, it's BYU Zach Wilson. Zach is a great athlete with really good arm strength. And as the ball gets further down the field, somehow his accuracy gets better. The one knock on him is going to be they lost to Coastal Carolina. He actually played well in that game. And to me, the definition of greatness is he's elevated that program at BYU. All right. And, and so then that brings up the question that the New York Jets will have at number two. Who's better, Zach Wilson or Sam Darnold? Greedy, right now, 31 miles away from where you're sitting, Joe Douglas is asking that exact An easy answer. It's Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson's a better quarterback today. He's ears. He's more accurate. He's a better athlete. And Sam Darnold continues to turn the ball over. 54 turnovers in the NFL, 22 interceptions at USC. Zach Wilson is the better quarterback for the New York Jets. All right, Dan Orlovsky, again, I know you're doing all of the tape work on all of these guys as we work our way towards the draft. Do you agree with that? At this stage, is Zach Wilson just flat better than Sam Darnold? No, he's more appealing. He's more intriguing. Now, candidly, I have not seen every Zach Wilson tape yet. I've watched a couple of them, mainly the Coastal Carolina one, and Mike T is exactly right. He was really good in that football game. But just like when everyone says he's going to be the next Patrick Mahomes, two things that we underrate about Patrick that we don't know about Zach Wilson are one, how bright he is, how like football intelligent he is, because that's something that doesn't ever get talked about enough with Patrick. Yes, he's got the off body and crazy arm throws and flinging the football everywhere. And he, he plays with the FOMO style. Every play is fear of missing out like this. I've got this big play opportunity. And then how slow the game is for Patrick. We don't, we, until you actually watch him play against that NFL caliber competition and speed, we won't know if the game slows down for him the way it's so slow for Patrick. And so he's intriguing and, and enticing. And it, like, it's something that wets, wets your appetite a little bit when you watch his game film. And I get it. But at the end of the day, you've got to ask yourself, if you're the Jets, like, look, let's look at this if we're the Jets. Do we think he's going to be better than Sam Darnold four years from now? It's not just now, but four years from now. And if you're going to tell me that the one knock against Sam Darnold is the turnovers, I can respect that. But we have to look at those 54 turnovers and go, how many of them are really because Sam Darnold just can't get over the turnovers? Or how many of them can be attributed to everything around him is a joke? You know, how many of those turnovers are because he's playing under duress and, and just trying to make a play? How many of those are because he's getting hit from the blind side in less than five seconds? And so that's what you have to Excuse me, that's what you have to really look at when it comes to these two players. I totally agree with that. I, I, I think what you're saying, and not to put words in your mouth, is no quarterback could have succeeded in the circumstances that Sam, Sam Darnold has been in the last three years. And with that, I fully agree. So, Mike Tannenbaum, how do you factor that into all of this, that with a fresh start and with a, a brand-new coaching staff and everything else, can you find that magic? Because what the Jets are then considering, they would have the second pick in the draft as an asset rather than having to draft a quarterback. That's the decision Joe Douglas is making. Right, but you're chasing greatness, screening, and for 20 years, the New York Jets, unfortunately, as you and I both know, we were chasing Tom Brady. Now you're chasing Josh Allen. It's still greatness. And look, when we talk about some young quarterbacks, Daniel Jones, Carson Wentz, there may be some inconsistencies, but they have flashed greatness in the NFL. We haven't seen greatness out of Sam Darnold. That's my biggest concern. He's flashed good, but good is not going to be Josh Allen. And Greeny, as a custodian of the New York Jan Jet fan base, you want to ask the question, what gives us the highest chance to ring the bell at the highest possible level? And what Zach Wilson has shown as BYU is simply a higher ceiling than what we've seen from Sam Darnold. Go ahead, Dan. First of all, Sam Darnold has, has, has had many great plays in the NFL. We can't use Josh Allen and Carson Wentz. Josh Allen had Stephon Diggs. Carson Wentz had a top five offensive line and run game. Zach Ertz. Sam Darnold has never had anyone even remotely close to that. He's never had a Brian Dable. He's never had a Doug Peterson. Sam Darnold hasn't had stretches of greatness, I will give you that. But he's had moments and signs where you point to, him. that's the talent. That's the talent. And that's the question, like that's also a question that the Jets have to ask themselves. Are they willing to pass up on a guy that three years ago was in the conversation for the number one pick? Was one of these more talented quarterbacks coming out of the draft? And I'll be candid with you, Greeny. If we have to, like, if you take a step back and look at this situation, the Jets and Robert Sala and that staff made the decision to go there before they ever started to dive into these college quarterbacks. 
one of the reasons why when they had their pick of job in the NFL that they went to the Jets is because they saw something in Sam Darnold that they really liked. Just be very careful passing up on young quarterbacks in a short period of time when they had zero chance to show what, what they were capable of. Be very careful with that. Uh, we're working our way. Look, we're eight weeks away, basically, at this point, And that is where the draft, in many ways, will begin because we all know what's going to happen at number one. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.